Pretty cold feather going on. Jeez. We are going to go get some new chickens today. So I'll show you how to introduce new chickens to an existing flock. like mud. It's just mud and a little bit of chicken poop. Yeah, I said mud and a little bit of chicken poop. <laughs> yeah, that's our cage. Purdy. I like their color. <laughs> Look at them run from you. <laughs> They're like, we're gonna go hide. Hide, everybody, hide. Thanks. Thanks for jumping right in. Flew right in. Dang, you're a quick chicken catcher. What other one did you want? The other black Asian? Get over here. Press the button. You're good. Should open. So we did another thing. <laughs> yeah. We did a thing again. We got some pretty birds this time. Yeah, they're pretty. Y'all about to have a new home. Yeah, y'all are gonna be so much happier. So much happier. Yeah. So much happier. Time to go in the coop so we can put your new friends in there with you. Isn't that gonna be fun? Don't you guys just love it getting new friends? Come on, Sylvia, let's go inside. Come on, buddy, what? Uh, did they poop in the car? Ooh, all over it? Ooh, I'm so glad it's in there. Yeah, me too. I'm so glad it's in there. So when you introduce new birds to an old flock, you should do it close to the nighttime. We brought them in right around the time that our chickens usually put themselves to bed so that it kind of helps keep them from pecking so much whenever they are first introduced. And the new birds kind of get a feel for the coop and the new surroundings. Is that the one you're talking about? Uh, yeah, I was talking about... A pecking order is always going to be established regardless of what chickens you have. But you have to watch out for chickens trying to peck till death because they will try. Some of them, if they're really dominant. Initiation. Oh my gosh, you see Betty's whole feather going on. Jeez. Betty is like the top chicken. She is the hen to mess with. She's number one hen. But see, this red hen is like, hey, I'm I'm not gonna play your, your game. The other one is little, so she doesn't know what to do, I think. Our biggest worry was Betty White, but it looks like Goldie is actually going to end up being the top chicken. She showed Betty White really quickly that she wasn't going to deal with being bullied. Good morning, ladies. <laughs>
And there are a few, like Blondie, that are a little lower on the totem pole. There are certain things that you want to look for and you want to watch for whenever you're introducing new birds to an already established flock at home. It's actually best to, if you can, put the chickens in a fully fenced off section of the coop. For a few days, we don't already have a fenced off area inside their coop and it's winter time so we wanted them to have a nice area to be able to still be out of the weather if they needed it. What we did was just brought in the cage with them in it and kind of let them see each other and then slowly let them come in. There you go. She's like, hello. Hello, new friends. Hello, new friends. Look at them just parading out of there. Now we have to give them all names. Um. Uh, that one's going to be... Uh... Ooh, sister. crazy. She's like, I'm checking it out for Little show. Sister. And we stayed out here for a good few hours watching to make sure that there wasn't going to be any major pecking issues. It does just seem to be little bits here and there. The uh, top dogs will tell the younger ones or new ones that this is their home and who's the boss. Betty White was originally the boss. We'll see within about a week or so. Who is the new head chicken? Betty is in the nest box in there. She's only one laying for us in the nest box anymore, or so far. Black Betty, on the other hand, <laughs> she heard her name. Her and Chickadee really like to lay in this front corner. The rest of these hens that we just picked up are they are of the same age i think two of them may be a little younger than the ones we have but not by much one of them was laying and the others were not 100 percent sure so we'll see if they uh, begin to lay here within the next week or so now that they're in a new environment they may not lay for a few days or so we'll just have to keep an eye out <clears throat> I'm not the bird whisperer. Get off of me. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's gonna just keep walking. Ow! <laughs> You're so <laughs> <my hair. laughs> She likes you. Yeah, if she poops on you, I'm not gonna be happy. This is one of our new hens. She apparently likes me. Oh, <laughs> thanks, babe. So, just to reiterate, when you are introducing new chickens to your already existing chickens, you want to do it slowly, give them time to get used to each other, preferably at night when they're about to go to bed or after your others have already gone to bed. Keep them separate if you can. If you can't keep them separate, then keep them in a cage and put their cage in here for a little while so they can get used to each other and then allow them to roam and check out the whole area. Don't be alarmed when you see them pecking, but be on alert for extreme pecking so that you don't lose any chickens. If for any reason one or more of your chickens are being pecked profusely, then I would suggest removing that chicken and separating it for a little while longer. And also suggest that you um, introduce them in pairs so that you're not introducing one lonely little bird into a flock of established chickens.